Control systems are a fundamental part of our everyday lives and essential in almost all areas of engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, aerospace engineering. It's one engineering discipline that seems to encompass all different engineering aspects. The University of Manchester established the Control Systems Group about 50 years ago and since that time the group's been responsible for a great deal of pioneering research work in all aspects of control systems, model-based control, multivariable control, frequency analysis and systems modelling and identification. I started with my MSc course about two years ago and I've just gone on ahead to do my PhD here. Well, the MSc itself was first building us up with the fundamentals of the control at the master's level. And then I had a, a research more in the industrial application part of control in valve station and working on that. Initially, when I, when I started here, I wouldn't say my background in control was the best that I would have wanted it to be. So one of the things you find is that there's an emphasis on working on individual students trying to bring them up to speed, so without compromising the standard that is expected for a master's degree. The MSc dissertation projects are very important because they represent a means by which we introduce the MSc students to some of the most important topics in modern control engineering and its applications. What I liked about the MSc course was there was a mix of quite a lot of things. We had lectures, coursework, lab work, tutor sessions, and even sort of the informal sessions with students. The lab sessions in particular were really good because it solidifies what you learned in lectures and it really tests if you understand the theory that's taught to you during lectures. Almost everything that I've learned and covered in the MSc course I actually use right now working in controls. The way we teach is primarily lecture-based. There are two lecturers to each of our modules, but on top of the classes we have a lot of laboratory work so that you get the practical understanding. And then on top of that we have a tutorial system where each student is assigned a personal tutor from week one who they see at least once a week. This allows them to do some small group teaching and what they will do in those sessions is go through course material perhaps answer problems related to the questions, or perhaps look at some of the important career developments. The material that I cover during the MSc course is dealing with process control. It is something that is very, very important in the modern world. It deals with issues of how do we manufacture modern goods from the raw materials in an efficient manner, both in terms of time and energy. One of the key research areas that I'm getting involved with is the application of control in electrical power systems of the future. There is going to be a revolution in the way we both produce electricity and consume electricity. The group maintains very strong links with industry. We have several projects ongoing with local companies and international companies, the wastewater industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and the pulp and paper industry. In particular, we um, were involved in work detecting leakages and blockages in oil pipelines, and we're also involved in projects improving the efficiency of downstream refinery processes. I'm a consultant engineer at Perceptive Engineering, a junior engineer. And what I actually do is design control systems for various industries. So right now I actually work in the pulp and paper industry and the water industry. And what we do is do bespoke advanced controls for each process. Right now I'm working on minimizing energy consumption on the paper mill to design a control system based on more predictive control and process optimization and process monitoring techniques. Amongst the diverse range of research projects that we have ongoing in the control group, uh, we have a number of research engineers that are currently looking at Europe's most advanced robot, which is called the iCub, and they're developing control systems which will allow the iCub to work unaided. In addition to that, they're also looking at investigating the cognition processes within small children, how small children develop. One area of research which the group has more recently been involved in is that of autonomous vehicles. Uh, this is an area which we anticipate will have a major impact on society in the future. The areas that the control group is involved with is in firstly in the modelling and simulation of autonomous vehicles, but also in the development of prototype vehicles which can demonstrate the principles of autonomy and allow us to implement robust, accurate control systems. I did my four-year course here at the MNG, Mechatronics Engineering, and during my fourth-year project, PhD was sort of mentioned there and the project was sort of really interesting. 
My PhD is working together with School of Material Science um, in their biomaterial research group. The small team that I'm working with, they are involved in building biodegradable polymer fibres and structures in order to aid nerve regeneration and tissue regeneration. And so my research is aiding them in helping identifying the process and getting the quality of the material and the same time after time. The Control Systems Group has about 40 academic researchers within the group. It offers a variety of courses to postgraduate students. We have a master's course in advanced control and systems engineering and we also offer PhD positions to appropriate students.